You know, with the American political system steadily moonwalking away from progress, it's easy to narrow your scope and lose track of the fact that the rest of the world is sinking too. So with that in mind, I'd like to take you on a quick international tour of sexism. And this week's segment is going to take a page out of the Schlieffen plan and start off in Belgium. This story comes to us from The Independent by way of astute listener Michelle, and it's the story of one of those women's only premieres of the new Wonder Woman movie. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, not sure how I feel about those. Sure, they're harmless, but just as sure they're sexist. So I haven't weighed in on the controversy around them. But no matter how you feel on that, I think we can all agree that if those screenings include a gift bag to all of the lucky ladies out there, that gift bag shouldn't contain a toilet brush, a dish sponge, and a pamphlet for diet pills. And yet, at one Belgian theater chain, that's exactly what the women who showed up got. Now, for their part, the chain responded to online outrage with an apology that basically said, shit, we should have asked a lady, huh? But we see why you're pissed, though. Sorry, won't happen again. Which is, I'm pretty sure, what it says under you bought a woman a toilet sponge in the secret rule book boys get when their balls drop. But if I have to put a positive spin on that story, I can at least say it isn't terribly consequential. And regardless of how misogynistic it was, most of those ladies probably really did need a new toilet wand. But this next story out of Northern Ireland is definitely consequential. And what these ladies are going to need the toilet wand for is a lot more disturbing. And of course, I'm talking about abortion. So yeah, coming to us from the you may also like thing at the bottom of the last article is a ruling by the UK Supreme Court that says that women in Northern Ireland, unlike those elsewhere in the ever less United Kingdom, will not be entitled to free abortions from England's National Health Services, despite the laws that say those are available to all women in the UK. They tried to justify this decision by hiding behind respect for the democratic decision of the people of Northern Ireland. And don't get me wrong, that's something that should be respected, but maybe not over and above the rights of women. Speaking of which, no international tour of sexism can stay out of the Middle East for all that long. So we're going to bring our Indiana Jones-style dotted line to arrest in Iran, where women are increasingly engaging in a silent protest against the laws that require them to cover their heads so that Allah doesn't ejaculate all over himself at the sight of a naked scalp. Or so Bill Cosby won't offer them a drink, however the hell that's supposed to work. The protest was a brainchild of Masai Alanjad, whose name, I apologize for mangling, who founded a group called My Stealthy Freedom in an effort to protest Iran's oppressive and sexist mandatory dress code. Alanjad is asking women to post pictures online wearing white head scarves or other white clothing with the hashtag White Wednesdays as a legal protest under a regime that doesn't much care for protest. With that brief glimpse of good news, or the promise that maybe good news might be around one of these corners eventually, I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.